the butchers of Arizona. The wasteland is harsh and unforgiving. Today, we're showing you the best techniques for combat in the game and how the squad you create and build will determine your success. Bringing justice to the Arizona waste begins with character creation. You can choose pre-made squad members or create your own customized elite team of desert rangers. Attributes, skills, weapon specialization, appearance, right down to your ranger's choice of cigarettes. We're gonna build a heavy weapon specialist with a talent for modding his guns. Coordination is one of the main attributes controlling our ability to use guns. Bonus range to hit chance means we'll stay on target. More action points means we'll get to move and fire more each turn. A few points into awareness helps ranged characters. The bonus initiative helps us act sooner in combat, extra evasion helps us avoid incoming fire, and the melee critical chance increase is good if our enemies get too close for comfort. Our heavy weapons guy isn't a complete meathead. We're giving him a point in intelligence so he gets more skill points at each level up. Finally, this guy's an asshole. Let's dump two points out of charisma and put them into strength. Now he can carry more gear. They call them heavy weapons for a reason. Let's move on to skills. Heavy weapons ensures that our man is good with a wide variety of machine guns, grenades, rocket launchers, and more. Weaponsmithing lets him strip down guns he doesn't need for parts and use those parts to add mods to the guns he wants to keep and use. Finally, it's good to have a fallback skill in case someone gets too close for comfort. A point in brawling will work well together with his upgraded strength and awareness. Now for some personality. His name is Schutz Jurgensen. He's a nihilistic drunk from the nuclear waste around Mino, North Dakota. The game offers you dozens of options for character heads, hair, hats, skin tones, clothing, and more. You can create a sharp, professional-looking squad of rangers, or a motley crew more concerned with results than appearances, or something completely unique. Now we build three more rangers, or pick from the pre-generated characters to fill out our squad. Make sure you cover all the bases, because building a balanced squad is key to battlefield success. Don't forget a field medic and a surgeon. Our squad arrives in the town of DeMonte, far to the east of Ranger Citadel. We're looking to commission a radio tower to help broadcast our message of hope and security across the waste. As we get into town, something doesn't feel right. Our rangers aren't prepared for what they're about to face. This might not go well. I guess we're gonna need some more recruits. Let's take a look and see how the right squad could have survived this onslaught. This time, we've outfitted our squad with the right tools for the job. We've got specialists in anti-armor, energy weapons, heavy weapons, and blunt weapons, all of which will punch through those robots' thick metal shells. Our sniper is trained as a surgeon and will be able to revive anyone down for the count. Let's kick things off with a bang. Our heavy weapon specialist advances and takes a shot. That lures the robots in. He then retreats to let the rest of the team tear them apart. Notice how we stay crouched to gain a bonus to hit. You can see how the right guns, skills, and rangers turned this fight from a suicide mission into a manageable tactical situation. But you can bet there's some other situation somewhere else in the wasteland where this rough and tumble squad built for mass destruction will find their damage dealing skills ill-equipped for the task at hand. Here we are in Happy Valley, better known as the prison, the ranger's old home base, and now home to the competing Red Scorpion militia. Here, we'll take advantage of higher terrain to gain better accuracy. 
Going for the headshot is a gamble that will reduce your chance to hit. It pays off with increased damage. Even if you've got terrain on your side, you might need to take cover. But cover is a resource too. Your targets will get into cover too, and much of it can be destroyed. Mastering the battlefield will help you master your enemies. But you don't have to just rely on your rangers. You can recruit a wide variety of denizens of the Waste, from other rangers who will join you for a period of time, to doctors, hobos, and even a robot. Here, we've reprogrammed Jamie the robot to help us liberate Demonta from invasion. Here's Jamie dealing some damage. Here's Jamie taking some damage. And here's Jamie doing something special. That's not just pretty lights. That area of effect gives enemies an accuracy penalty when nearby. Let's use our skills to give him a hand. Now, we're ready to go. You made your choices. You trained your squad. But no amount of training in Arizona will prepare you for the challenges of California that you'll experience during the game's second half. Synthetic organisms, the pictures of Arizona. 